Grandmas can have a lot of influence on a person's life. They can pass their wisdom on, be a guiding voice in times of turmoil, or just simply offer their love when sometimes a child wants something to do with their parents. So today, to honor the many wonderful grandmas in the world and those who have passed, I want to bring you five grandmas in anime who I think really embody what this means and echo the power that they have to lead the younger ones through the difficult times. Number 5. Panako Rockbell from Full Metal Alchemist and Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Panako is a character that we didn't really see all that much of, but many of the events of the story wouldn't have happened without her. After Ed and Al lost their parents, she became like a mother to them, and she and Winry fixed Ed's arm and legs on multiple occasions when they are damaged or destroyed because Ed likes destroying things, apparently. She is also a calming voice to the brothers, and I believe that throughout the year she had an influence on their personalities that led them to become the heroes that they end up being by the end of the show. Number 4. Tomiko Ashina from Shinseki Yori. Tomiko is another one of the characters who is in the background for most of the show, and it's only midway through the series that we fully understand her role within the small town. She is a grandmother to one of the main characters, Satro, and ends up being a guiding voice to the main character, Saki, throughout some of the story. The thing that really stands out to me, though, is her strength as she guides the towns, especially as they are in danger during the final arc of the show. And she really does prove that she is not someone you want to mess with, especially as I was cheering her on when she threatened to do certain things to the villains. The show itself deals a lot with the gray areas of morality, and for the good of the town, Tomiko is forced to decide what must be done, and, well, it's certainly not an easy decision to make. She really is in a challenging position, and for good or bad, her resolve is what let the town endure the challenges that they faced. And number three, we have a tie. Toph and Katara from The Legend of Korra. And yes, I know Korra isn't an anime, but season two was done in part by Studio Piero, so I'm going to say it's close enough. Plus, Korra shows something that I did not see replicated in a true anime, so I decided to include it here. And this is how the heroes of the past are taking more of a role of a mentor for the new generation of heroes. While Katara and Toph were part of the group that saved the world when they were younger, they know that their days of being a hero have passed, with Katara now taking the role of a waterbending teacher for Korra and also healing her through the injuries that she sustained at the end of season three. And the Toph really shows her role as the mentor during the episode that brought her into the story, especially as we saw that she just left her life of success and importance behind her, deciding that she would rather live in the woods than continue being the police chief. She always was a unique person, and she shows that just because she grew up, this did not have to change. Toph also guided Korra with her unique perspective on earthbending, doing something that only she could. And of course, throughout all of Avatar and Korra, Toph shows that her weakness can be used as a strength, and this had a long-reaching impact on the world both during Avatar and also the lesson that she was able to teach Korra. For number two, I'm going to spoil Planet After Stories, so you might want to skip that to a point I'm going to put in the video, or possibly include an annotation if I can, or something like that, so yeah, spoilers. Number two, Sane Furukara from Clanad and Clanad After Story. Sanai is often near the top of people's top mothers and enemy list with good reason, and this also extends to her being a grandmother to Ushio in Clanad After Story. She really is a multi-layer character, often acting quite childish and someone that's just fun to be around, especially with that dynamic with her and her husband Akio, but when it's come to family, she will do anything for them, such as abandoning her job as a teacher when Nagisa becomes sick and needs someone there all the time. The strength of her character is really seen during After Story when she also takes in Ushio after Nagisa's death and uh, Tomoya's inability to take care of her. And perhaps most impressive, she even orchestrates the plan to bring Tomoya and Ushio together again as father and daughter, leading to some of the most powerful moments of the show. And this truly proves that even a seemingly easygoing person can defy logic and do the impossible for their kids and grandkids. And number one, Sake Junichi from Summer Wars. It's really no surprise that Sake would be at the top of the list if you've seen Summer Wars because that whole movie is about family, especially as Sake leads it and the strength that she has. Family is a chaotic thing. You have people of all kinds of different personalities and lifestyles, from the cousins who order pizza in their sleep to sisters who you sometimes want to throw out the window, and of course the aunts and uncles who you look up to. Or at least that's a small glimpse of my family. Summer War shows a power family in that through all their differences they come together in the fun times and the hard times and are able to do things that no one on their own could possibly do. But undoubtedly the star of the show is the Grandma Sakai. Or Saki or Sakai. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's been a while. She knows how to rule with strength and bust out Japanese swords during the middle of dinner or threaten the main character with death to see if he's worthy of her family. But she's also able to offer words of encouragement to those that need it. Everyone has their different gifts and capabilities. And even as she's grown older and may not have the same health that she used to, she's able to make a difference in the world in a way that only a 90-year-old grandma can. So that is my list of awesome anime grandmas. Are there any that you think I missed or you think should be on this list? And also tell me what is something awesome about your grandma? I'd love to read those comments down below.